How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. We're approaching uh, the 9,000 mark on uh, subscribers. Uh, almost 8,800, uh, but we're getting there. So <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you all for uh, subscribing and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the channel. Uh, this is a little catch up one. Uh, we, uh, I have some uh, really great viewer mail from Rick Gerhardt, uh, he uh, sent me some uh, some great tools there. Uh, show you those. A uh, little update on my son's truck and the roll cage, and uh, some tools that a fellow in the UK made. I sent him a drawing of the dovetail cutter, and he made three different size dovetail cutters uh, from uh, using a drawing and adjusting the size of the insert. So uh, those are pretty cool. I, he sent me some pictures of the ones he made. And I hope you'll enjoy those. Uh, Don Ricardo in the UK. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll be having some, some machining uh, soon. I'm working on projects. Actually, this is, this, this is surface grinder related. I'm having to put in and make a new shaft and lead screw. Uh, a lead screw, I should say. It's for the uh, Y-axis and uh, lead screw nut uh, set up and everything so uh, I'm getting that all filmed and uh, we'll have that up there soon. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, and, uh, thank you for subscribing. I got some uh, viewer mail. Uh, a gentleman by Rick Gerhardt said he wanted to send me a few things and uh, he was uh, very, very, very generous. Uh, some uh, really great stuff. And uh, I'm going to kind of run through and show you the stuff he brought, brought me here. Here, this one here. Is, I don't know if you can tell what this is. This is, this is uh, loose and adjustable. Took me just a couple minutes, but I, I figured out what it was for. So in here, there's a, like a key. Well, that key fits on a 5C collet. Fits right in there, down the, down the keyway. That's a collet, 5C collet stop. That, and that's so you, this handle is so you can uh, tighten it up nice and tight. I don't know if it was shop made. It, it kind of looks like it might have been very nicely done, all TIG welded and everything. And this has a set screw for to adjust the brass stop in there, and you can make that nice and tight with the handle. Then this slips right off. Very nice. Thank you, Rick. This is a uh, this is uh, very cool. I'll be using that. I have I have one now, but I I have actually used for a couple of these and. Uh, this this will be very uh, very helpful. What else? There we go. Uh, number three Morris taper reamer, which is uh, my tailstock actually on my uh, Lance lathe is a number three. So I don't know if you if I make something that needs a Morris taper socket, which I actually have a deal and I could actually ream it so it's really nice very nice it looks uh, basically brand new if, it were, if it's not it's hardly ever used at all maybe a little bit nice and sharp yeah and all this stuff is uh, very useful for me at least <laughs> uh, a couple scotch bright pads maroon and gray can't have enough of that stuff, you know. What else we got here? I don't have one of these. Now I do. This is a Skidmore optical optical center punch. I know, I know, a few guys have seen shown some of these, and they're a pretty pretty slick little deal. So this part here has a rectal in the bottom here reticle you know uh, cross air lines but and then this is made of a tr translucent plastic so light can come in and you look in through the top place it in here 
and there's a spot for it goes over this now sits over your on your subject or down here so you can look in there and line it up and then you can hold that steady pull this out slip in this center punch and just give that a tap with the hammer and make a nice little little center punch mark and then you can uh, re-punch re it with a larger punch if you want so this is in great shape uh, thank you again Rick we're gonna save some of the best parts for last I got a little plastic box here of select the point from MSC yeah, these are various points uh, for your in for indicators for dial indicators and such different kinds flat ones some round ones some really really small pointed ones and some sharp pointed ones there's a little chart on there yeah those are always handy having extra tips uh, you can reach into better places for Right here, this is a Eric Miracle Point. It's magnetic on the base here, and it's a, uh, a protractor, a magnetic protractor, they call it. Uh, you can see how that changes it, uh, with angles there, and it has a little punch or a scribe that you could scribe a line or mark something right here that will come in handy even has the instructions it's a model 900 looks uh, that's a little bit of age to it and just been used but it looks in good shape checks drive line angles you can uh, use it for welding setups all sorts of good stuff. Oh, they had other other tools also. Yeah, very cool. Love old tools. That will come in handy, actually. Yeah. This is a nice set of radius gauges I've been in need of some they must have uh, heard I needed some on the one of the videos there because I think I had mentioned that and uh, he sent me a very nice set of radius gauges here and with the holder that's a nice little compact uh, setup there especially with the larger radius gauges I just have a, a flip out one but here this has some, some of the larger types very cool and, and a holder for them Those, are, those will come in handy, especially when you're uh, grinding tools if you need to match a radius or a specific specific one. Very nice, nice little kit. I'll have to clean that up to see it, read, be able to read that a little better. And then brown and sharp, adjustable parallels. Very nice. Yeah, that one's got a little ding in it, but we can uh, we can we can dress that up if we have to. Uh, once we get the surface grinder up and running and everything, but other than that, they're in really good. They're pretty good shape. Yeah, very nice. Very adjustable apparel. Very nice to have in the shop, uh, especially if you want to measure a slot. Or, uh, you know, a space where you can't get a micrometer very easily into. And sometimes uh, adjustable parallels is just a ticket. What else we got here? We got a spring center. Kind of like one uh, John Mills made there. You know, spring center. You can put it in chuck, at the drill press, mill, lathe. Uh, keep your tap straight. Or Whenever, if you need a spring center, so it's uh, pretty good. It's uh, nicely made. I don't know who made it, or it was shop made. Very, very well done. Very nice. Uh, that will come in handy. I don't have one like this. Let's 
stare at box. This is a number 98 six inch level. Machine level. The uh, vial is broken, but I can get a new vial for that. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, this could use a little maybe lapping or, or on the surface plate, it looks like. It's got some a little bit of wear there. Or maybe we'll put it in the surface grinder and be able to touch it up, touch it up a little bit on the surface grinder even, clean it up. But the end vial is good, but just the top vial is broken. Well, we'll uh, get, I'll get a vial for it and we'll get this thing fixed up nice. My six inch, six inch level. I don't have one of these. Uh, let's see. Planer gauge. This is a Starrett number 246. I don't have my glasses on. It's 246. You know, it's got a couple of the pins. Well, yeah, there's two of them here. This is this one here is a short one. Screws on there. One uh, that's a one those that's one inch and that's a two inch one. I think that's what it is. Yep. It's in good shape. It's clean. You know, it's not all beat up or anything. It's got some little bit of marks on it from age. It's a small planer gauge. That'll come in handy and from setup work and such. I think uh, Rick made these. These are all hand peened rivets. So they look handmade. He showed me a picture of uh, some of these he made. He made uh, four of them, or I don't know how many he made. He showed me a picture of four of them. And I couldn't believe he sent me a couple. Uh, these are, they're all blued, brass, brass blocks, uh, with little, uh, v, little notch, V notches in them, both directions. Very nicely done. Very, very nice. Uh, the can't, of the can't twist design. Oh yeah, these are, these are beautiful, Rick. Very, very nice. Can't have enough of these things. And uh, those are going to be uh, right there for the mill. I tell you, those are nice. And let's see here. Oh, he uh, threw in a. Uh, uh, this is a brown and sharp uh, bevel pro uh, blade for a bevel protractor. Just a blade. Uh, I don't have one of those uh, bevel protractors, but maybe I'll have to find the rest of the parts for, <laughs> for that. Uh, act as a good straight edge, though. No, that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll find a use for that. We'll find a use for that. And uh, one more item. Uh, he he had mentioned in his email and. Yeah, he was going to send me a boring head, and I wasn't expecting all this other stuff. So it was quite the surprise. Uh, this is a Criterion uh, boring head, a big, a bit larger one. Uh, they're a DBL 203. Great shape, just just great shape. I mean, it's got a little bit of use, but great shape. He's very, very nice. I have a two-inch Criterion one. I did a little trading, uh, horse trading with, and uh, with an R8 Arbor for it, and an adapter that takes the seven eighths, uh, where you can screw a seven eighths Arbor into, like, or a straight shank one into. This is an adapter that screws in, also. But I'll be I'll be fixing it up with the R8 for my mill. But that is. Uh, that's very very nice. Uh, thank you, Rick. That that will come in very handy. Eh, very very handy. Yeah, that's that's sweet. Those are. Oh, 
I don't know, this might be three quarters. I had to measure them. But very, very nice. Very great condition. And came in the box, the 50th anniversary box. 1985 was their 50th anniversary. Wow. Well, maybe that's why it's gold. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Bugs are in the shop here bad today. Yeah, that was, that was very nice of him to send all this stuff and the wrenches, of course, uh, with that. Yeah, and these clamps. These, this is gr these are great. So thanks again, Rick. I will definitely be putting this stuff all to all of it to use. Definitely. Well, some uh, more uh, viewer mail. My good friend Rick Gerhart again. This man is a wonderful man. <laughs> Uh, I I can't thank him enough, but he sent me a box, and it's along the lines of Tom Lipton packing uh, with plywood sides, half-inch CDX in there, some wooden blocks. Nice job on packing, Rick. Let's see what he sent me. Now I've already kind of cut this open to help it help speed this along a little bit. Parts. Great packing job. Wood all around, and, and it had other packing in there. This is a indexing head. Can go either way. Five C. Call it indexer. Yeah. A little rusted, but he's from down in Florida, so yeah, has the index markings. This is the uh, call it closer setup. That's uh, oh, I see. These are just falling out of the forks. Those go. Those go uh, in here on the forks. Little pins. So that goes in this call it goes in this end out here screws into this that goes in there and then this is your engagement handle the out the back these pins out inside there to put the fork in going to back these pins out so we put the fork in there yeah those are, those are rollers sit on those Okay, that goes in there. Then we have our closer at open and closer action. So this goes in here it looks like. That's a little bit spring loaded there. Mm, I don't, maybe that pops the stuff out. Anyway, I got a 9C call it, uh, 916's call it here. We're gonna 
stick it in. That screws in. This is a, I haven't milled this dovetail cutter. This is a 9 16 shank one. We're just going to stick that part in. Oh, yeah. This boom goes over and locks. Probably a little bit tighter on that. There we go. Feels good. Then you can uh, turn it upside down, or I mean, right side up, so it's vertical. You could do uh, milling operations, indexing, and milling operation, or horizontal. And it even has a couple keys to fit in the mill table on the bottom. And this here unlocks the. This here handle unlocks the indexing, so you can index. There's index marks around here. That's zero right there, and uh, so you can index it right around and locks in place. That's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know what that does, <laughs> but uh, this uh, just boom, unlock it, lock it back in. I think uh, my next uh, milling for dovetail cutters, I'm going to use this, uh, try this out. I can put a collet stop in it so they go in the same every time and lock them right in. Very, this could be very, uh, very nice. A lot, lot quicker, a lot easier than how I do it now with the block. But now in the collet block in the vise, it is... A very rigid fixture and it's easy to set up for an angle so I'll have to set this up for an angle but hey I'll give it a try we'll see how it, see how it performs thank you Rick uh, very very nice I'll do a little more clean I have to do a little clean up on it but a little clean up little lube get the rust off I have no idea who makes it there's a number but uh, I don't know who made it. Thanks again, Rick. Nice horizontal vertical indexing Ficey collet holder. <laughs> Travis, or Roscoe could not help himself. He had to sit in the new seat. Huh, Roscoe? Roscoe? Smile. Yeah, there's Roscoe. He had to. He just could not help himself. He jumped up there. So that's one of the new seats. What kind are they? PRP. PRP seats. Camoed. And Roscoe likes it. Was that five po five point, point seats? Yep, belts, yeah. and the new roll bar cage that he, Travis is building goes all down this side there, this side here, and the front. Still got more stuff to do, but he's getting there. Whole truck's torn apart. We're going to build some nice uh, adjustable seat rails also. What do you think, Roscoe? Smile. He, he's excited. Can you tell? <laughs>